Uh, up next, we have Project Shade, Solar Heating Architect Design Education with Brian Downey and Mitchell Cook from Caledonia Regional High School in Hillsborough. So give it up and uh, we're excited to hear you. Hi guys, I'm Ryan Allen, this is Mitchell Cook, and we are the entrepreneurial branch of Solar Heating Project Shade. Now, what is Project Shade? Well, to keep it simple, this unit will basically just pull heat from the sun and bring it into your home, heating up, and it will basically just pennies a day compared to gas heating or pellet heating, depending on what you're using, as long as the sun is out, of course. Now, there's a couple quick facts before we go on. Uh, you may not know this, but the sun is actually closer to the earth in the winter as, as opposed to any other season. And uh, most of us already know that black material heat up in the sun, such as you leave your black car out on a warm beach summer day. It's going to be pretty muggy when you get in there. And, we, and our device capitalizes on that. Now, on the next slide, I'm going to let Mitchell Cook, who is our lead engineer, uh, Explain to you the science of it all. Our product will start heating at sunup and it will stop heating at sundown. It is ran by a simple duct fan that costs up to nothing a day to run. We have figured out the proper sizing we need for our product and we also have seen an impressive uh, increase in our temperatures. I'll hand it back over to Ryan. Thank you, Mitchell. All right, just so we get this clear, we are not a company yet. I want to get that across now, and we have zero sales. <laughs> I don't know. But, but, here's the but. We have a product that works. We feel our unit as a prepackaged kit for do-it-yourselves will sell. <coughs> All right. Now, here's where, this is where it gets interesting. It's the money, of course. That's the most interesting part. Uh, we can make a unit for around $500, $550, and we plan on selling it for around $799. And if we were to install it, it would be $199. That's basic money. That's fine. All right. Why would you invest in us? Good question. <laughs> I would like to, actually Mitchell and I were both wanting to invest in our education. We both were on the plan of going to secondary education. I would like to go to university. And you want to go to college? Or... Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. And we're both eyeing business degrees from Kent. And the second fact is that we'd like to further advance our product. Because this is an actually really good idea to invest in. Next slide is our companion app. So this is basically just an app that we're going to have floating around. We made it from this week, and uh, we plan on just basic information on the, uh, on the unit itself and how to, how to use it. Next slide. Alright. So, basically behind this is just frequently asked questions, so before you ask me, you might already be on the slide there. And I want to say thank you to all for listening. And you can go ahead and ask. Good job, guys. Um, how many of these units would you need for the average home? The average home? Uh, just one, really. It's a what, what's supplementary heating? Yeah, supplementary heating device, right? So this is basically for um, you'd still need a regular heater there, but every time that this is running. Your gas heater or pellet heater wouldn't need to be running on it, so you save lots of money on that. So why $799? You can sell for more. <laughs> you want yet? Uh, <laughs> um, we started our idea off with low, com low income houses, uh, people who can't afford it or can't afford their normal heating. We plan on something a little cheaper that can cost to around a dollar a day. explain a little bit more how it works? Does it hook right into your existing heating system and how does it gather the energy um, from the sun in order to um, 
Um, it pulls, we, it sits on the south side or whichever side of the house that faces the sun the most and it, we, the one we have hooked up hooks into the basement, it pulls air out and the sun will heat the box. The box is all black and mostly metal and it will heat the, as the air goes through the box, it will heat it and push it back into your house. So the air is coming from the house and it goes outside into the device where it heats up when the sun goes back in. Did you have a chance to test it this last winter? Uh, yeah, we had it set up just before winter and it pulled out at about 10 degrees and put it back in, to, in between 50 and 60. Actually, right in the highest heat output that so far is 66,000. For what uh, sustained period of time? Um, in the coldest period we had, it was pushing it back in about 40, just not as much sun on it, the snow was piling up around it, and it did get as much sun. Um, this is a great, it's a great idea. This is a product where, this is where innovation needs to happen. Uh, you're in a great space. Uh, I like the fact that it were, you're taking air from inside, feeding it, and pushing it back in. It's not a water type of mechanism that you see. I like the, the price point is really low. You can probably be a little higher because your cost is pretty high versus your selling. So there's not a lot of margins there. So you probably want to revise that to make sure that there's enough margins for a supplier. So you don't want to go house to house to sell it. You want somebody to have it like a whole hardware or something like that. And then there's enough money for them and then there's enough money for you, right? So you gotta pay yourself if you want to come out with the next best thing. Um, so uh, that would be my little uh, bit on it. I guess I, I like the fact that this could be low income places because really those are the people lots of times that need it the most and those mechanisms are unaffordable for them. So you guys are actually tapping into a, a problem. And uh, I, I really like that you're, you're looking at that space, so good job. Thank you.